take a look at the you guessed it. Just a version two? World premiere. <gasps> oh my yes! No way! No freaking way! We ignored all the warnings. We forgot the lessons. We abused our power. <gasps> it is evolution two then. But it's in the real world and not uh, not on the islands. Played with genetics, like uh, like it was a toy. Oh my guys, this is it. We weren't careful, and now, ah, uh, here we are. Wow, they've got so much to live up to, man. It is a very different world. Especially with all the mods and stuff. Jurassic World Evolution 2, there it is! Yes! We thought it was going to be announced! And it was... And that's obviously Mo... Okay, so we've got Aquatic Creatures, guys. we got Aquatic Creatures. Mo's is all confirmed. Mo's is all confirmed. So if we go in here... So here it is. Jurassic World Evolution 2 coming 2021. Um... Let's put the music on in the background. Hell, why not? Oop. So, uh, we're thrilled to announce Jurassic World Evolution 2 is launching in late 2021. Late. So, it'll be after the movie? Because the movie will be in June or July. And that's like mid, right? So, it's not late. So, wait, are we going to launch for Christmas time? So, maybe they are. They're, they've, they've taken longer with this than anticipated. Because I thought, you know, they've had a year extra to work on Jurassic World Evolution 2. But maybe the, because of, you know, what happened and they had the pushback, they were just like, okay, let's focus on uh, Zoo, uh, Zoo Tycoon, uh, Planet Zoo. Uh, please update your cookies. Okay. All right. I have renewed. Am I allowed now? Okay. No? Oh, it's the video. V a YouTube video. Okay, it's probably just the trailer. Uh, so what else What else does it have to say? Let's have a look. So, based on Universal Pictures' blockbuster film franchise and created in collaboration with Universal Games and digital platforms, Jurassic World Evolution 2 builds upon the groundbreaking and beloved 2018 Dinosaur Park manage Management Simulation. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's just like they're kind of praising themselves, isn't it? <laughs> the groundbreaking and beloved our game. <laughs> um, it offers playing as a thrilling front seat as they take charge of one of the greatest theme parks of all time. But we'd already done that. Uh, with a brand new immersive narrative campaign voiced by cast members from across the Jurassic World film franchise. Exciting new features, four engaging game modes. Interesting, engaging game modes. That's not what Evolution had. You had sandbox missions and then the campaign. So that's three. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, do, 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 what we got? Customer uh, 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 just five. Okay. So exciting new features for engaging game modes and an enhanced uh, and expanded roster of dinosaurs. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 provides fans with everything they need to create uh, authentic and compelling Jurassic World experiences. Players will leave the Murters Archipelago, so yeah, we're no longer in the islands, uh, for the first time and build their own authentic Jurassic worlds across diverse new environments, from dense forests to scorching deserts, in efforts to conserve uh, and contain more than 75 prehistoric species. We have 130 in Evolution with Mods. Now I get, I get it. I get that's a lot more. Guys, how much did um, Jurassic World Evolution have at base? There's about 49 dinosaurs. <laughs> that's a lot, that's a lot of numbers. So we're, we're talking like 49 dinosaurs-ish. So this is starting with 70, 72, 75. Uh, these include all new flying and marine reptiles. So what are we looking at? Pteranodon. Hatsagoptrix, Quetzalcoatlus, Mosasaur, Styxosaur, Plesiosaur, stuff like that. Um, uh, brought to life with captivating realism. Now, when it says realism right there, it better be realism. 
I f you know what it is? I feel like I enjoy the AI of JPOG better than I do the AI of Jurassic World Evolution. Mainly because it's random. Or it feels random. Like, if I was to see a T-Rex hunt a stegosaur in JPOG, like the T-Rex is hungry, stegosaur's there, I don't know who will win. The, the T-Rex might keep on going for, you know, behind and keep getting hit by its tail. Um... But with JPOG, it's like, well, they got a battle first, and whoever's got the most attack stats or defense, which will be definitely T-Rex, will win. Um, uh, they'll display brand new behaviors as they interact with each other, fight for dominance, and react intelligently uh, to the world around them. So, none of this, you know, oh, what would you call it? What can we say? The dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution just walk about and do whatever they want. They, they'll walk into water. They don't really care. Um, so maybe we'll have dinosaurs that stick to forests more or deserts more. Um, or, you know, the, the only things that happened in Jurassic World Evolution that kind of interacted with was jeeps. Like if a jeep was to go around, beep or dart, then dinosaurs would run away. Um, we've also got some more super chats. We've got Daniel Holden. If you look in the puddle at the end of the trailer, you can kind of see the spinal head for, uh, face. Really? Nah. Nah, there's nothing there, man. Is there? Nah, they deliberately haven't rendered that. The, the, where is that spino face? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, no. It's there even before... It's there even before the, the thing gets there. Right, okay. Unless it's a shadow. Right, that's Sorok. Okay, so let, we haven't got to the end of the bloody page yet. Right, let's have a look. So we've got Nozunoceratops, which is a new species um, for the franchise, I guess. So you're Battle of Big Rock. Uh, in Jurassic World Evolution 2, players dive into an original single-player campaign featuring iconic film actors reprising their roles. Join Dr. Ian Malcolm, which we've seen before, Jeff Gordon, Claire Deering, voiced by Rasa Hallett, Bryce Dallas Howard, which she was before, in an immersive and exciting narrative experience set after the earth-shattering events of Jurassic World Falling Kingdom. No sign of Alan Grant or uh, Ellie Sattler uh, said there, but they could be. They just said a few. They, obviously, they wouldn't stay everybody, would they? Uh, still no sign of um, Chris Pratt, Owen Grady. Uh, I think he's just adverse to doing voice acting roles <laughs> or he just doesn't want to be part of video games i don't know what it is uh, so okay so you got single play mode you got chaos theory mode uh which is interesting is another major addition it offers a reimagining take on pivotal moments from the jurassic world film franchise as players strive to make their own mark and change the course of events so what like a what if storyline uh, elsewhere, for those looking to unleash their creativity, Sandbox Mode, so Sandbox, uh, delivers everything players need to create their perfect park, while Challenge Mode tests their mastery of the game. So, just like we had with Jurassic World Evolution, you've got Mission Mode, I think it was a Challenge Mode, I think it was Sandbox Mode, a campaign, and this new one that we've never seen before, Chaos theory or chaos mode chaos theory mode interesting interesting uh, across all modes we've dramatically improved our signature management and construction gameplay to give players everything needed to create their ultimate jurassic worlds whether it's deeper ma management tools and creative options so there we go buildings and decoration i would assume uh, fresh buildings to construct and customize or handy shortcuts to make life easier, like releasing all from a hatchery or P for path uh, <laughs> in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Players can truly flex their ma managerial muscle. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 launches in late 2021 for PC, PS5, Xbox Series XJS, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, wish list now on Steam. So I think we can probably jump to Steam now. Yeah, yeah, we can jump to Steam to get some extra pictures, guys. Heck yeah. Let's do that. So we got the uh, Nozuda Ceratops. Reject all cookies, hell yeah. Uh, this, if I save it, what does it save as? Because that might be telling. Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, it's just a jumble of stuff. So the Celia Physis thing well, it could be, um, it could be a new dinosaur to do with a new movie. Um, here we go. Here we go. Wow. Okay. 
So we've got the innovation center. Interesting. So this just looks like one of the islands, right? Doesn't it to you look like one of the islands that we've just seen before? I'm pretty sure there's a mission island where it starts as like a main street and then it hits an innovation center, or at least I put an innovation center there. So we've got the shops here. We've got the innovation center. Don't know what this is. I think this is an aquarium. I think that might be an aquarium where we see our creatures, our aquatic creatures. And why I say it's an aquarium is because it looks like, if we take a close look, I don't know how well you can see, zoom in on your screen. If you, if we take a close look at this, it looks like there's trees. Now it could be a reflection. It could be very easily a reflection of trees, but it could be like reeds. It could be seaweed or kelp, possibly. I'm just trying to think of like, why would something be enclosed? Unless it's an aviary or it's something to house. Aquatic creatures, that's what I'm thinking. I'm a mouse! Thanks for the donation! Uh, Rodrigo uh, Dorte? Uh, super hyped for this game, ready, uh, ready to 100%, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be doing that, don't worry. Um, I don't. This looks like um, a show. Oh, wow, yeah, it does! It looks like, I don't know, can you see it? Oh, you can't see it, hold on guys, hold on, I'll move it for you guys. Uh, like down here, that looks like an auditorium. Or a stage. Like you've got like one part, like that looks like a seating area, then another seating area in different colors. And then this is obviously to hide from, I don't know, like uh, what you call it, the, the sunlight or the rain. So we got an auditorium. So we're gonna have dinosaur shows? Like, you know, when you go to zoos, they have the, the, the birds and stuff that fly out. Or we're gonna have like flying dinosaurs. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of what, what, what could be like a, an avian dinosaur. It uh, looks like it could be. Uh, here we've got the ranger station. Uh, sorry, I'll go, <laughs> now you'll be see. So ranger station over here. The auditorium was over there. I uh, don't know what this building is here. I'll, I'll move it. I'll move it over a little bit. Oh god! Oh, but there's a Marcus one. Uh, <laughs> we got another one here. It, you know what? This reminds me of when I was a kid and I would look at the front cover of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and wonder how on earth do you get these like buildings? Because I had it for PlayStation and the PlayStation had the low graphics setting. So that white visitor center that you could opt to in uh, PC, you couldn't in like PlayStation or Xbox. So I would always look at that front cover and be like, how do I get this? <laughs> But here, looks like we got some research center? Can't imagine it would be anything else. Uh, the viewing towers, which have not changed, which is interesting, right? This is a whole new game, and we're, we're still built bringing over... I guess it saves some time, I suppose. Um, and the, the viewing gallery thing. You've got the hatchery, which hasn't changed. If we look, uh, like, right in the middle there. Hold on. Right here, same hatchery. It's got like a clump of trees. Everything doesn't look blue though. I, I was kind of hoping that if we were going to have aquatic creatures, they would be in the water. Like look at this big lake that's behind, right? You think, oh, just put them, put them in there. But I hope we're not running into the same situation that we have in uh, uh, evolution where that's out of bounds. I really hope not. Tracy and Adam Isham. Uh, the Amargosaur looks like a, ba a Bajadasaur. This one. Does it? He's very chonky. The Amargosaur. So this, this is one of the new creatures. The Amargosaur. Uh, not the first time in the Jurassic franchise. I mean, I, I'm sure there was a million dinosaurs in that Jurassic Park builder for the uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance. But Amargosaur was in uh, Jurassic Park builder. Is it in Jurassic World the game? I don't know. I don't think it's in Jurassic World Live. But it was in Jurassic Park Builder. I remember calling it a drama queen. I remember, I remember that being a thing. <laughs> uh, but here we get to see like cacti, um, some other different foliage. Like, so you've got, maybe you'll be able to even place individual stuff like the cactus. I wouldn't be surprised. You've also got what looks to be a rock over here. Or is that food? I don't know what that is. It could be food. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Triceratops with a gyrosphere door? Could the gyrosphere go through um, a wall? Because I know I know, maybe the gyrosphere couldn't. Or could it? Could it go through? Could it do that? I think it could. I know the tour could. 
I don't know. Triceratops seems to be the same model. Uh, so, in a way, Frontier is saving a lot of time. A lot of time. Um, because you've got... You've got the same models for dinosaurs. You've got... Um, you've got the same uh, buildings in some cases. Here you see... I don't know if you... Can you see my mouse? <gasps> can you see my mouse? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah. Now you can. Uh, like, if you look over here, this bit of the fence, if I move this to the right a little bit, it's red. There's a red bit of fence there. Now, is that because it's a different type of fence? Or because it's customization? Could be customization. Uh, so, but you've got a gyrosphere here. Uh, if we have a look inside the enclosure to the right, you've got... I don't know what that is. Is that like a power? you got the hatchery here. This looks like... I recognize those doors. That's definitely the hatchery. But then... Yeah, different seasons. Now, I don't know whether the seasons will change. But it, th this is definitely like Tundra. A bit like Planet Zoo or, you know, something like that. So, you've got different grass. You've got like a dirty grass to the left here. You've got... I don't know what... Like I said, I don't know what that is. And it looks like it's got a security camera. So, it might be the edge of a building. And that could be just a little part of it. Or that could be the whole building. So you've got like a fuse box there, you've got a security camera there. And the final image is a Stegosaurus. So what do we have going on here? Say it's it's is it the fixed Stegosaur from Jurassic World Evolution? Like the it could be. Uh, Tracy and Adam Asham says, also the Amargosaur has a longer spine, Badger Badgersaur doesn't. Uh well, maybe it is. Maybe it's not Amargosaur. Maybe it's that one. Uh, but I know that Amargosaur I've heard of and I've seen in the franchise. But I have not seen Badgida in, in the franchise before. Secret Gamer became a member! <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, so what do we see in the background here? We see actually the research facility. Yeah, it's even got the same... So we got like the same buildings coming back. We've still got the innovation center. We've still got the research facility, but we're going to get more buildings and more dinosaurs. You've even got a rock over here. Now, you couldn't... Could you get rocks? In, yeah, you, you could get rocks in Jurassic World Evolution without mods, I think. Yeah, but they were, like, very basic. So, these are all the images we have at the moment. Interesting. It, it is very... Oh, Super Life 69! Getting a little, little member train going on here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a lot coming. A lot coming. I'm kind of curious, when this game comes out, when it comes out, they'll have a look. Yeah, there's his toe pictures. There you go. <laughs> Put over there. Yeah, when this game comes out, would you rather me do a Let's Play series or stream it? Really up to you. Oh, but oh, but was it in the live? Uh, Trace, Tracy Adam Isham says, but Bajada. Bajada was in the live, was it? Bajadasaur. You're right, it was. How could I forget that? <laughs> I'm thinking because it had a really long neck, right? Or was that... No, that was... That was something else, I think. Oh, God, it's been so long since I've even seen it in the game. You know what it is? I forget what day... I forget what you... And Andrew Lewis with the <laughs> member train. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Okay. You're right, it is coming this year. Ooh. Ooh, guys. Sheesh! <laughs> oh, man. It is... it is. Oh, my God, it's coming this year. That fills me with so much more hope. Yes. That means that Frontier may have been working on a different game. Jurassic-related. As opposed to this one. This feels like they've definitely put a lot of effort into it. But it's, it's not a brand new game from the, you know, the ground up. And... Oh, it doesn't tie in too much to Dominion yet, it feels. I mean, it, it probably will at some point. I, um, you know, when Dominion comes out, there'll be like a, um, a DLC released for it, I'm sure, um, tying them together. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, I just can't hide it. This is going to be great. Dogs. Dogs? Who's saying dogs? Okay, what was the straw poll result? Uh, result, let's have a look. Ooh, majority one of Let's Play series. 
<laughs> a big majority with a Let's Play series. Okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, both is good. Yes, geez, Beaver, you forgot this. It's this year. I did. I only, I forgot it was this year. I can't believe that. I'm just so focused on everything coming out. Like, next year? Because that's when the movie comes out. So I was like, oh, well, yeah, late next year. That's after the movie. But no, it's this year. It's friggin' this year. Oh, my God. Oh, late this year. So in, what, three or four months this is coming out? Okay, is there anything else? Can we see anything else? Um... Oh, I think that's it. I think I think everything on here, we've pretty much gone over. I mean, we have the trailer here as well. If I was to like full screen that, no, okay. Well, guys, I'm ex. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I'm excited about this. This looks loads of fun. Um. Artist Draws says there are more screenshots on the official site. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, hold on. Let me click back. Okay, there's more screenshots on the official site. I don't see them. Oh, gallery. Here we go. Oh, there are. Woo, guys. More content. <laughs> you thought it was a Brachostachosaurus. Hold up. Hold up. I thought Brachiosaurus died. <laughs> that wasn't the one I meant. I meant to do this one. I thought Brachiosaurus all Guy. I thought Brachiosaurus all died. What happened? What? They're not dead? Why are they not dead? <laughs> okay. I thought that, that was the whole thing with Fallen Kingdom. It was like, nah, I get, you know, I guess... It's like an alternate reality in a way, you know. So it would be a bit weird if they were, but... Um, Brachiosaurus, yeah, it's fine. We all, who does like a good old Brachiosaur? Can I go left, right? Okay, we're going to click. Um, uh, oh, no, it is a Margosaur. It is a Margosaur, then. It's, it, there you go, it's, it's a Margosaur. Ooh. Ooh. Um, what we got? We got Mercury Alpha Inc. says, Beaver, check the gallery on the site. Got you covered. Got you covered. Uh, <laughs> Tracy in animation says, do a comparison between Amarga and Baj Bajada. Bajada. Banana. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me... Two seconds. Bajada saw. Oh, yes. Yes. I, I remember him. Yes. I remember it because it's kind of like... Um, it looks like it has dreads. <laughs> yeah, that's B Bajada saw. Hold on. Yeah, that one. That looks like it. Can you see? Can you see? You see him? Yeah, I see. I see what they were doing. I see what they were doing. But yeah, it's 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 like you know they they change it. Dinosaurs aren't like you know prehistorically accurate in this franchise. Um, Ian Malcolm, like your videos. Don't forget Horizon Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn Two, Beaver. I won't. I will cover that. Uh, Reaper Death says I'm excited too. Or t I'm excited too. <laughs> and Amelia Clement, thanks for the uh, sticker. Okay, so what else we got? We're in the Zootoceratops. We've seen that one. Stegosaur, we've seen that. That's a weird screenshot. I think they're trying to say, hey, look, there's different times of day. I think that's what they're trying to say with that. Uh, of course, we've seen that one. We had a little in-depth look. Celia Physis. Um... So that's what it was. It was a senior Faisus. So whoever said that, you're right. Amelia Clement has become a member. Thank you. All right, so we got senior Faisus in. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, can I zoom in? I don't think I can zoom in. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> so we got... What's this? It looks like... It's a helipad and then another building. Don't know what that is. That's new. This looks like a power station, possibly. Another helipad, but this time different. Could this be like a different era? Uh, I mean, I've been happy to hear you You are making my day. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Um, yeah, it could be like a different type. You know, you had Jurassic era. You had Jurassic World era. 
Maybe this is something else. Maybe this is Chaos Era. I don't know. Okay, what else we got? Hey! Oh, it was... Okay, well, I guess it's not too bad. We got a Pteranodon that looks like the Jurassic World Pteranodon and not the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon. Which would make sense, right? Because they're screen accurately. Well, you know, it's Jurassic World franchise. Why Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodons? Okay, so we got those Pteranodons now. And maybe I did see the trees inside. So it'll be interesting of how much we're allowed to um, experiment inside here. Because if you think about it, how are we going to be able to keep the dinosaurs? I mean, there's another Pteranodon just there. How are they, are they... <laughs> because with Pteranodons in evolution, they just did a certain path, and then if they broke out, they broke out, and you're never seen again. Are these going to be, like, actual dinosaurs, or is it going to be the same thing again? Like, if a storm happens, uh, and they break out, then they're gone. Or are they going to interact with other dinosaurs? Like, is a Pteranodon, when it breaks out, going to be able to fly into a T-Rex exhibit to get water, and then get eaten by a T-Rex? This is things that I want to know the answers to. Like, this is the kind of AI interaction that I'm wanting to see from this game coming out. That's what I want to see. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the main street. Uh, this time I'm showing bowling uh, a, a cinema, it appears. Uh, I don't know what that is. No idea what that is. And an arcade still? It looks like the same as the other one. Why am I getting feelings like this is a washed out version of Jurassic World Evolution? It's like, hey look, a couple more things. Like, there's nothing too much different? Like, like if we ever look, for instance, if we look at the people, they're still clumped together. In the AI, kind of, the AI is probably the same. So, are we gonna get, like, crowd AI? Are we gonna get, like, individual identities? Ah... <sighs> Do you get that in Planet Zoo? Do you get, like, humans with different, like, you know, like, names and stuff? I think you do. So, I wonder if they'll, they'll think about doing that. Uh, T-Rex looking different. More brown. Like a dark brown. Uh, still got the, the big fence here. That is, I think, the Jurassic era fence. It's like this, the, the large concrete one, kind of. Well, not concrete, but, you know, wide fence. That's not new, I don't think. Maybe the bottom is. If it is a new fence, it's it's very similar. We've got the gate we've seen a million times before. Um, and the T-Rex model looks like it's been updated. So maybe this T-Rex is more reflective of how, it, you know, Rex is going to look in Dominion. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and Triceratops, different skin color this time. Same model, different. That's a different skin. I, I'm pretty sure. You've got an electric fence, which we've seen before. The hatchery looks very similar, but this gate is different with a couple of different modifications. Um, but it, it looks similar. It does look similar. And then back to Brachiosaur. Okay. Is that all we get to see here? Is there anything more? Add to wishlist news. Uh, coming. We're thrilled to announce. Yada, yada, yada. Subscribe, stay in touch. Oh, powered by Cobra. I'm assuming that's for the website. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm very excited. So, whoa. Andrew Lewis, is there anything specific you're hoping to see in the sequel? You mean like the movie? I don't know. I, I don't have any expectations per se. I'm just happy to like, I'm glad that it'll be coming to an end. Hopefully it ends right. I want it to be satisfying. That's what I'm hoping to see is satisfaction. <laughs> because after this movie, I think it's the end for Jurassic World, like Jurassic World. It won't be the end for the, the franchise, but we'll see. I, I, I want to know how it ends because is there a possibility for... I mean, I think they'll end it in a way that it won't be the end of the franchise. They can't. Universal, this is like one of their most or their biggest franchises. <laughs> Hey yo, cutie! Hey yo! Who's a cutie? Well, come here. You're gonna stop the live stream. <laughs> Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? Is you? Is you? Is that she? Is she here? <laughs> Everybody say hello to Rusepi. Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? Is you? 
terrifying. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Confirmed. Bruce coming to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. Go on, then. Oh, you're going, Gucci. <laughs>